Hi there, hope you're having a wonderful day and you enjoyed the Super Bowl this, uh, this past weekend. And as a lesson, something I read uh, in an article after the Super Bowl was about uh, running back Marshawn Lynch and that he may be retiring. And what he said was he had never actually spent a single dollar of his salary over the course of his career. He li he has lived strictly off of endorsements, so he potentially can afford to retire at a relatively young age, and, and as far as NFL running backs are concerned, because he's never spent any of the income that he's made from his salary. So I was trying to think about how that relates to to our clients and to really the general public out there, and think about it in terms of <coughs> in terms of dual income. So a lot of times we may have a husband, our clients, you know, husband making around $100,000 a year and the wife making off around $100,000 a year. And how can you save one of those salaries and live off of the other? First off, just the risk of either spouse losing their job, so you might be forced to live off one. But while the getting is good, why don't you try to save as much as possible uh, of one of those one of those individual salaries, and then potentially get somewhere around down here. This is five million dollars in the future. So what I figured is at a reasonable rate of return, forty thousand dollars per year, saving that for thirty years will get you to this five million dollar number, which is a number I often hear from our clients as a as a pile of money they want to have in retirement. And so that might seem like a lot, or maybe it seems like a little. I don't know, $40,000 a year. If you're older, you're going to need to save more. If you're younger, you don't need to save quite as much. But for 30 years, saving $40,000 a year, that's going to get you to $5 million at a reasonable rate of return. Now, is that possible? Well, let's just do the math here. So we've got husband, let's say he's got a job, and he can save $18,000 a year into his 401k. And then we've got wife who can also save $18,000 a year into her 401k. And I'm assuming both companies have a match inside the plan. So we've got $36,000 plus the match. You're really right there. Just in your own company's retirement plans can help get you to that goal. Now, let's assume that we've got a stay-at-home husband in this case. So he's no longer working. We've got a wife, wife making $100,000 a year. Now it becomes obviously more difficult. How can we think about maybe creating a dual income so that we have money to save? Is it rental property? Is it a little side job where you're, you're doing whatever it is you like to do, coaching sports or, or, or decorating homes, whatever it may be, that you can end up saving some money to help you get to this number, which will allow you to get to that number so that you can retire someday. It's possible really for anyone. Maybe that's you don't need quite that much. Maybe you need half that. Maybe you need a third of that. Maybe you need double that. Then you kind of just adjust that number. But this is a lesson. I think Marshawn Lynch, out of all people, I would never expect him to teach us a lesson in regards to finances. But in this case, he really has. If you've got two incomes coming in, try to live off one of those, save the other one, and you're going to put yourself in a great spot going forward. Call me if you have any questions or shoot us an email. Just reply with a question. Uh, to the email that you're going to get. Happy to answer it. Go to our website, farewealth.com. Uh, our number is 770-984-2312. Have a great week.